Thanks a lot. That's very good. Next, we will bring out Glee <laughs> Abraham, who is a Solutions Engineering Manager for Tata Elxi. Hi. And I love the title of his, his presentation, RDK and Making Sure Your Kids Get Where They're Going. Mark, hey, Glee Abraham, how are you? So nice it's, a, it's a reference design kit and a babysitter. Yes. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we call it virtual presence. And virtual presence? Virtual presence, you mean somebody is out of your home, but you make your presence felt at home. Mm -hmm. So it could be by either you know, sharing your images on the road, or it could be by tracking you like a kid, for example. It could also be you know, showing where you are on the, on the map. So this is basically what this application is all about. And Okay. Uh, maybe. So, yeah. so how did you use the RDK to develop the app? So the best part about this was we could use a normal PC-based, portal-based implementation, which we could seamlessly bring down to the RDK. And so, so build an HTML5. Exactly. HTML5, bring it straight onto RDK. Geotagging works. GPS works. And that was so seamless. And the, it cut down our development time by maybe six times, five times. So that has been the, the, the good part about having to work on the RDK. Yeah. Okay. Well, so maybe I can yeah. show down yeah, sure, show the demo there. So what you see here is the virtual presence application and uh, it has multiple things like you can show the you can share your images with your family and friends. You can see there are multiple friends like Demo, Victor, Ken, Alice, Tom, Greg, etc. And the tick marks that you see is your friends who have shared their images, image libraries with you that you can go in and browse. Ken and Alice and Tom, I have requested for their permission, but they haven't given it yet. Greg has denied me permission to his images. So this is basically just image uh, gallery which you can browse, like in Facebook. And why but doesn't the, Greg like you? Uh, what was that? Why doesn't Greg like you? <laughs> No, no, he hates Something me, maybe. You said? <laughs> Greg's not a member of the RDK community. <laughs> yeah, that could be the reason, you know? So, coming down, I'll show you the... Sorry. So, SyncView is one of the uh, points that we wanted to show is how you could synchronize your view with somebody on the road. So, I have an Android tablet here. So which I could pick up our application on the Android tablet, browse my gallery. So imagine that I'm on the road. I'm on the road somewhere, and I want to share my images with my parents in their living room. So I could easily click on one of my pictures that I've taken recently and uh, show it on, on screen. Well, it didn't work that way. So I'll move on to the next point, which is a yeah. the geotagging application and showcasing tracking your kids. So we have a child tracker application where you can set where your friend goes or your son goes. Where is our witty repartee? We're all waiting to see the demo. Oh, so okay. as Beautiful. you can see, I can, you're seeing Washington DC where we are right now and I go and set a point from where I want my son to go, from home to school. I set the from location and I set the to location. And I chart a route for him, which is set in. And then I set a tolerance. He cannot deviate from his path for more than 100 meters. So now, Love this. voila, you got an a alert on your TV that shows that your son has indeed deviated <laughs> from his path. <laughs> <laughs> so you can so actually. So many ways so you could use that. You so could the actually next feature we need is a, a button to send him a text message. <laughs> yeah, really. 
Yeah. So that is it. So I'll just keep it aside. So the rest of it is on the screen here. So you could actually see where he is at this moment. I keep pointing at that TV, but I should be pointing here. So the red dot is where he actually is. He's having friend, uh, fun with his friends in some downtown at restaurant. Judiciary Square. So you know <laughs> <laughs> where he is now, and you can track he where he is. he must have been telling you something. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. that was another feature. Uh, that was the highlight of what we wanted to show. And let me just see if we can just go back and show what went wrong earlier. Hopefully it may work. Having been yeah. privy to this app as you were developing it, Glee, it was super cool. I had just that day had some photos on my phone that I wanted to show people, and I was like, God, I wish you could just like throw the photos to the TV and be able to you know, scroll through them that way, which is kind of what, what we're doing. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And uh, another feature that I want to demonstrate is geotagging. The image did not work earlier, but I hope this was. So it shows, if you pick up a picture on your iPad or tablet, it could show where exactly uh, the image was uh, shot on the map. See? So that particular picture was taken uh, in that area. At World and Headquarters. There we go. Which is actually the Tata LXE office uh, yeah. in India. And um, another picture. You know, this is actually a really great example of how the, the RDK platform integrates with the cloud. The, the apps that these guys are building, you know, obviously it's a multi-device, multi multi-screen application. Um, integrating something on a tablet with something on a set-top box used to be a fairly daunting challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now that we've, we've moved so much of the service infrastructure out to the cloud, applications like this become much easier to build. Mm -hmm. So the, that's the demonstration that we had, and uh, yeah, and unfortunately, no time for live debugging. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much.